Hi guys, Danger Rock here. Today we're going to be looking at some Disney Store Buzz Lightyear figurines. These are really unique. These came in sets. And I've got three here that look really similar. And I just want to compare these. Uh, starting off with this one. This one right here I think has some really good detail even though he doesn't have any articulation whatsoever. Um, his face sculpt isn't bad. I really like his color green. He has all the detail there on his buttons, his Space Ranger logo, Lightyear logo, this little rocket right here, and laser. It's all there. It's really nice. And there's nice detail here on his um, jetpack. It's all painted. You can see his wings are sculpted in there. And one thing I really like about these is if we look at the bottom of his foot, it says Andy on it, which is a really nice detail. Which it leads you to believe that it would be film accurate if it actually talked and it was actually movie size. But for a standard figurine, I'd say this is pretty good. Now, comparing him to this Buzz, I believe this one was released in a set later on. And even though his facial expression and his body, the pose that he's in, he looks exactly the same as the one I just showed. But he is not. As you can see, the green on this one is a lot darker. And this logo right here is this is dark blue. There it's light blue. On the one on the left, it says Space Ranger. Here it doesn't. The rocket on this one is actually a darker blue. His laser sticker here is a darker yellow. I actually think this one looks a little bit bigger. And if we look at the bottom, this one says Andy also. This one also says Andy. Except the one on the right is a lot darker. And looking at the back, only difference is, it's like I said, is the color, this one being darker. Now, for some comparisons, we've got this right here, which actually I'm not really too sure what this is from. I believe it was from a Disney store. I don't know if this was Mattel. When I look at the bottom right there, it just says Disney Pixar made in China. I'm just trying to figure out which company made this. But what's cool about him is he does have some articulation right here. in his arms and his elbows. His wrist doesn't move. His head will move a little bit, but it won't rotate a full 360. Um, his legs do kick that far back, this far forward. So you could get him to sit. Goes that far back. And he's a nice figure and everything. I just wish he would have had the light ear sticker here, the decals. There's a the yellow right here for his laser, but it just doesn't say it. It's not as detailed, but he does have the paint on his hands and his feet, which is really good. And look at the back of his jetpack, his wings are sculpted in there. Which, that's not actually film accurate, because the wings, they would swing out. They wouldn't be put in from the sides right here. This would be white and red. But still, he's a, he's a nice little figure. Now, what we're also going to compare him to is the Woody. This came in a figurine set also. And... It's a really nice Woody, even though he's not movie side. He's not articulated or anything, but I do like that he does have his share of star, his buttons, his vest, his belt, and his pull string is just sculpted in there. So that's that's pretty much it. And that's pretty much it for these figurines. Uh, I think they're really nice to have, even though they're not like super highly detailed or anything. They do stand really well without any balance issues. It's just they're standing on my table right here, which is actually a, 
a cloth, but if it was on a hard surface, it would stand a lot better. But this has been my review on these Disney Store Buzz Lightyear figurines. Please like this video and subscribe if you haven't. And once we reach 500 subscribers on this channel, I will be doing a review of my full Toy Story collection. So stay tuned for that, and I'll see you guys on the next video review.